So today I have to share some bad news. I'm not going to go into detail and I'm not going to have the whole video about this, but I owe it to you to let you know that the doe that we've been fighting so hard to save for the last two weeks sadly passed away. She was doing great and then she woke up one morning and said, I don't want to fight this fight anymore. And it was a very clear decision that I feel like she made. I could see it in her eyes and she told me she was ready to go and she passed very quickly and peacefully. I was with her, holding her, petting her, and it is the hardest loss I've ever experienced on the homestead. I'm hoping that I can, in time, heal enough that I can make a video tribute to our beautiful, wonderful girl and share it with you guys. But I'm just not ready yet. But the thing about homesteading is, is no matter what pain you're dealing with, whether physical, mental, or emotional, you have to keep going. There are things that cannot just stop, even when you want to just stop. You have to keep going. So that is what I'm doing. Day by day, each day, one step in front of the other as best I can. It has taken me over a week to film this video because I have been dealing with a great amount of grief. And I still am. So bear with me as I try to pull up my bootstraps and be farm tough and also still create videos. Any of the videos you've seen pop up in the last week have been shorts that I already had filmed. Thank goodness for that. I had that in my pocket so that I could use that during this time of grieving. So I'm going to try to keep stepping forward and keep showing you what we're doing here despite my grief. <laughs> what are you doing? You want to know why I'm filming you? Because you were being a bossy girl and playing Ring Around the Rosie with your sisters. I thought it was cute. You're being a bossy girl. Supposed to be the mini of the group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just got big, didn't you? Big and bossy. Big and bossy. Oh, I know the flies are bothering you. Yeah. So, despite it being Mother's Day, I still have to burn baby goat horns and do a bee inspection. Because we got a lot to do around here. Alright, so the one on the left is a swarm we just caught this spring. And it has, what was it, five, six, seven frames filled. Seven frames very much filled out. Almost completely filled out. It's got three frames on the side that haven't been touched. This one looks like the entire medium is honey, capped honey. So I'm going to have to find out if it's too early to harvest honey. And then we'll add another medium with a queen excluder for another honey harvest later on. But first Ryan's going to weed eat around here with his suit on. Right, Ryan? Yep. <laughs> Are you nervous about doing it? No. Okay. Oh. I'm sweaty. I couldn't get out of that bee suit fast enough. So the swarm that we caught that we put in the backyard looks good. And our original hive that we had back there looks good. And we had put a queen excluder and another medium on it to get honey harvest. And they haven't touched that medium at all. None of the frames have anything built on it. No wax, nothing. They were waxed frames. I don't know if the queen excluder is making them not go up there and do any work. I've never used queen excluders before. 
and I've heard pros and cons about it. Is it because of the Queen Excluder or is it because they're just not ready to build up there yet? They were very active. And I thought by their activity that we were going to be adding another medium. And they haven't even touched the medium we added last. And it looks like the whole entire deep, their main hive, is full of honey. I don't see any frames. Like, I didn't pull it out because they were stuck together, honey. Like... Once you pull it, you're going to be ruining it and you're going to have a mess. So, but visually from the top, all I could see was honey, capped honey all the way. So unless the bottom half of the frames have brewed, I'm wondering if that queen is no longer there and the workers stayed and kept building honey. Is that possible? Do they do that? Come on, bee people, help me out. I need some bee advice. I was a little worried they'd be mad at us for burning their horns, but they still want us. Oh no, what did you do? Looks like she already bumped it loose. I gotta check her. There. Now she's all better. Now you're all better. They still want us. We must have done something right. Our little turkeys are getting big. Hello. You're so big. Yeah, I thought I heard somebody gobble this morning. These American breasts are getting so big so fast. Look at them. They, they look like full-fledged chickens already. I've been super busy potting up pollinator plants and tomatoes to sell at the market next week. Ryan pulled all the big weeds out so now I just gotta go through and do the fine tuning so we can get our corn in the ground we are so behind on planting but I, I I'm not even worried about it we have a long growing season in Georgia so all in all despite death and hardship on the homestead the show must go on we must continue to take care of the other animals and the gardens and the children and each other and ourselves. It's so important that you have a moment to grieve, but you keep going forward through your grief to make sure that it wasn't all in vain and to make sure that the life that was lost is honored. It's honored because I continue to move forward and I continue to take care of her babies and and taking care of her babies has been one of the most beneficial medicine I could possibly have they love me so much they see me as mom and I just adore them so I just have to keep that in mind and just keep going strong and Sometimes I'm not strong. Sometimes I'm curled up in a fetal position crying in my bed. Sometimes I'm watching old videos of her crying. But I still have to get out here and do the things that have to be done. So if you're going through a hard time or have a heavy loss, just know that you're not alone. We all have to go through it. And there are times where it's hard to put one foot in front of the other, but you just do it. You just have to be farm tough, like my friend Tisha always tells me. So, thank you guys for watching, and hopefully we'll have more videos filmed in the coming days as I start to feel better and better. But I'm going to have lots of shorts uploaded in between, so I hope you guys enjoy those as well.